Babe, you have gotten us way out here. Where are we? This is Canton, and this is what the client wants, Stephanie and Justin. We're 20 minutes to downtown Canton, which is where Stephanie okay. grew up. She's also pregnant right now, so. How pregnant? I think five months. This is baby number two. Seems it's like a lot to lot. take on. Our daughters would go to the same high school I went to. I think our girls would really love it. Yeah, I think they're definitely going to like to have land and have all the animals that we plan on having. Right now, we live in Cartersville. And we're looking to get some more space. We'd like to have our children grow up with some animals, some horses, and a farm. We have family that is in the Canton area. Feels like we're in the country, but probably 45 minutes from downtown Atlanta. What's their budget? Their all-in budget is $1.2 million, and that's a lot of money, but I'm nervous because they're looking for a farm. The most important thing we're looking for is land to spread out. At least three bedrooms, open concept, so I can see my kids at all times. When I looked around at comparables, farms anywhere from 40 to 50 acres, mm -hmm. you're paying a million dollars, and that's for the land, okay. period. People only think of Atlanta as an urban city, but 45 minutes away in Canton, you can get lots more land for your money. And then with 40 acres, they can farm some of that land, subdivide the rest, sell off as the land value appreciates. Overall, it really is a smart investment. That's over half a mile of land. And it has a barn that's in great shape and a pond too, they're asking, $9.99. With the 42 acres in the house, right yeah. up your alley? Yeah. It's a I, beautiful I, piece of property. Could, this could. house makes me a little nervous though. Everything out here looks a little rough. The siding is a little scary. I can tell you right now, you're gonna need all new siding and you're gonna need all new windows. Okay. But the roof is in good condition. <laughs> great. <laughs> so yeah, you walk right into a wall. We have some ideas how to rework this, but first, let's take it all in. This house was built in the 1970s, so it's dated, but it has a classic farmhouse vibe. On the main floor, we have one bedroom, the powder room, living room and kitchen, and then upstairs, there are two bedrooms and one full bath. So you have bedroom number one. That's the interesting colors. But actually, look at the ceiling. That goes with the whole farmhouse. I mean, what's great is you have it throughout the main level. We do have a half bath here. Is this the only bathroom on this floor? Half bath on the first floor, that's it with two babies. That might be a little rough. So we need to create a full bath. Good to know. OK. So this is the main room. Yes. Wow. Yeah. I'm all about views. You, you can't beat that. Even the floors? What do you think with the wide plank? They're These beautiful. are original. These oh, are gorgeous. Yeah. True yes. farmhouse floors. Yeah. Between these floors and that wood burning stove over there, we're gonna be singing Home on the Range a lot. <laughs> nope. Where's the kitchen? Right here. Don't be afraid. <laughs> yeah, not it really for my wife. for me. It's definitely a little too small. What's missing? Some more light. Mm -hmm. I love an island. A lot more storage. Yeah, none of this is gonna cut. What about if the kitchen was actually over here, though? You mentioned <laughs> wanting more light. Look how yes, much daylight you absolutely. get. Absolutely. What if we open up the wall between the kitchen and dining room, move the kitchen here and the dining room there? Flip flop it. That would be so much better. So our goal was to then find a way to create a primary suite. We could probably steal a few more feet to make that room a little larger. Okay. Give you a full bath with the bathtub and everything. You've got this gorgeous window. Maybe we can embrace that, but also give you a walk-in closet. Do you like that idea? I do. Yeah. I like that a lot. Stepping back, that's, that's huge. One more thing to look at down here before we go upstairs. They have the screened-in lanai and then a deck area out here as okay. well. It gives you that additional livable square footage that the mm -hmm. house doesn't give you right now. But it also looks like it could use a little love. As you know, in Georgia, having a screen's gonna be pretty key next mm -hmm. to all those woods. Oh, yeah. yeah. Which way you wanna go, this way or this way? I <laughs> think just over the damn door. <laughs> all right, so. Let's head on into the kitchen. Everything gone, okay? Right here, this staircase is all coming out. We're gonna have a clean shot of okay. delivering space. This is going to be the owner suite. We're gonna take this wall out. Windows being changed in the same position? Windows are being changed, same okay. position. All right. We are keeping the ceiling as it is. That's beautiful, man. That's a beautiful ceiling. I understand why. Definitely. Okay. Let's get the tools, right, let's, let's get moving. Here we go. Since we're moving everything around on the main floor. There you go, what's up, man? How you doing? How you doing? Good. We've got all hands on deck. We're knocking down walls, taking down cabinets. Got it. And setting aside the actual vintage stove that we'll keep to use as a fireplace on the new deck. 
We're gonna have to move this stove as well. Yeah, that's really heavy, man. No joke. A lot of weight. Whoa! What's gonna yeah. be? Up? <laughs> that's no joke. One, two, three, lift. All right. We got this. Hey, how do we feel about a soft, warm green for the kitchen cabinets? I've never thought of it, but <laughs> I like it. I'm just surprised at how much I like the idea, actually. You are. OK, well, here's more to love. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> I like the darker one. You do? I Both do. of you? Mm -hmm. Look at it with, with yeah. this. That's really pretty. Mm -hmm. Let's do it. OK. I'm on Fantastic. Board. Yeah. So we're opening up the kitchen to the dining room, and we're going to do the green shaker cabinets with that solid surface quartz-like counter to give that modern rustic feel. Then a beautiful mirrored backsplash that'll just light up the space and reflect light all around the house. It'll feel like it's been around for 100 years. We're adding the antiquity back. I like this. I feel like it's a little riskier than what I would usually choose and taking a chance. I, I like yeah. it. I, I don't want to receive threats from a pregnant woman, because <laughs> I know you mean it. Great. Guys, that's that's all our decisions for today. That wasn't okay. bad. Do you feel good about it? I do. What does the baby say? Uh, she's kicking. She must like it. I, I like it too, in general. So. Okay. Right now she's pregnant. Yeah. You agree with everything <laughs> she's. Why am I? Why am I even here? <laughs> Things on the farm are moving right along. Outside, the house is getting prepped for the new siding, while the guys are flattening out the ground to build a new driveway. And inside, new stairs are going up. At Stephanie and Justin's, we're reinforcing the outdoor patio from underneath and putting new decking on top. The wall for the primary suite is getting framed out, and we're framing the new powder room for under the stairs. And I just closed off the outer door in what's now going to be the kitchen. Babe, you here? Babe? Yeah. Are you done in here framing? Just about. The new stairs look great, babe. Genius. OK. OK. And we need something here that makes a statement and gives more curb appeal, more interest on the front, so it's not just flat okay. and dry. So what I was thinking is we put a porch. It doesn't have to span the entire length of the house. Mm -hmm. or maybe we even just do a portico I to like add that. some interest. Yeah. I mean, we had to put something anyway. We couldn't leave that top flat like that. But if we can give something here to add interest, I think that'll be fun and add to the aesthetic. How do you plan on paying for this? And the savings you find. <laughs> I'll make it work. I'll figure it out. Please. I will. Thank you. I love I you. I think it's a good idea. Mwah. At Stephanie and Justin's, the new siding's going up, and Mike found a wide plank pine to match the rest of the floors, thankfully. In the primary suite, trim's going in, and a new Dutch-style front door. I really love this color. It's going to add to the whole farmhouse vibe. Room. Oh my gosh, this came out even better than on paper. Uh-huh. Double vanity, check. Walk-in closet. Check. <gasps> Babe, climb into our bathtub. Yeah. Babe, it gets no better. You don't even need art in here because the foliage is the art. This is beautiful. What else? Show me, show me. All right. Welcome to the new main living space and kitchen. Ooh, okay. That's the problem area still, though. Why? This is our kitchen now. Uh -huh. So remember I had you close up this window. Yeah. And there was the door here. You moved it. Yep. That's all our light. That's what's missing. I thought you were going to do a mirror here. <laughs> OK. Stephanie wasn't feeling my mirrored backsplash idea at first. But ultimately, she's like, I trust you. So you would think that makes me happy. Mm. Now it makes me nervous. Right. You got to get it right. Well, as I stand here and I feel how dark it is, mm -hmm. I'm more affirmed that something reflective absolutely has to be here to okay. make up for the natural light we're missing. That feels great over there. I need this to feel equally as great, OK? I would agree. I would agree. Wait, so this is new pine. Yeah, you didn't realize that? Did you had something to walk on? I love how you matched it up. <laughs> yeah. I mean, seamless. I'm just surprised you were able to find the right width yeah. and plank. And this is real pine, right? This is real pine. Are we going to be able to match the stain? We will be able to. OK. It looks great, though. I'm very excited. Oh, that's that old school stuff? I found the pine floor. Yo, hey. <laughs> Is that a challenge? Challenge. What you got? Oh! I hit myself a little bit too hard with that one. Then. I'm going to stop. Oh, boy. 
Not a joke. Tomorrow's moving day and we have a lot of work left to do. We're installing the heat barrier so we can safely install the fireplace on the porch. Don't yeah. scratch my work. And inside, my wife and the design team are doing final staging. Right, here we go. It's coming together, girls. Okay, so we're gonna try to get this done by tomorrow? No, tonight. We just need, like, one more day. You tell the baby that's trying to come out of her body <laughs> that we need one more day. And we're literally this close to giving them the house by the time she delivers the baby. I don't want to ask for one more day. We are so close, girls. We can do this. All right. Babe. She is pregnant, pregnant, babe. Well, she's due this week. Hey, Steph. Hi, Hi. guys. Hey. You are positively glowing. <laughs> Thank you. This house looks amazing. I love this color. What do you think about this portico? This so is good. awesome. Did you see the Dutch door? Oh, that can is can so see. cool. Baby, you gonna let us in or you just oh, gonna keep sorry. demonstrating? <laughs> Welcome home. Oh, Man. my God. Wow. There were stairs here. Your wall, yeah, uh -huh. stairs, wall. Yep. Not even the same entrance. It looks Not amazing. You couldn't even get furniture up the steps. I love this. All right, let's see more. Let's check it out. Come on in out the cold. We always had a powder room here and tried to give it a pop of personality. Oh my gosh. Wow. That looks so good. I'd say that's a pop of personality. <laughs> that is beautiful. Next, we have your brand new primary suite. Here we go. <laughs> wow. Oh my this gosh. This is amazing. This is beautiful. Yeah. How is this even the same room? Look at the light fixtures. Yeah. Oh my gosh. This feels like farmhouse country. With this here, you know, you just got your views out both windows. I love it. So like light and airy in here. Mm -hmm. OK, what we did not have was a second bath in this house mm -hmm. before. Yeah. Yes. Tell us how we did. Oh, my god. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Oh, this is beautiful. Uh, well, hello, look at this. That shower is huge. Yeah. I love everything about it. To consider this was the old living room. It was, <laughs> yeah. yes. This and was... this right here was the door that led outside originally. Mm -hmm. Oh. That's where that old fireplace was. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Now it's a closet, goes. a walk-in. This is huge. This yeah. is a really good size bathroom. Mm-hmm. We can look out the window. Mm -hmm. And because all of this is your private land and it's wooded, God. you never have to put curtains or anything nope. out know. there. You can really appreciate the nature. Absolutely. And for the big transformation, your kitchen and living room. All right. All right, moment of truth. This is going to feel completely different layout-wise, remember, because we added the primary suite. Come on in. It looks so different. It's it not looks... the same house. <laughs> oh my gosh, it looks so good. I love it. And now your steps are here. Yep. Biggest that is, transition. That is awesome. You can get furniture up. Mm -hmm. The kids can sit on. You can take family pictures on the steps. That is so just in inviting. It makes the room feel more open, too. And this is a sizable living room. It, it really is. is. Yeah. Yeah. I like this. It just so, feels so warm. Oh my gosh. I didn't know how you guys were gonna fit a kitchen in here, but it looks amazing. Now these are your color choices from mm -hmm. our design meeting. I, I love, it. love like this that. green. See, we got the green in the cabinets. Those are beautiful. I love the color. Yeah. Your so kitchen good. was a galley style kitchen. So now you have this enormous kitchen with tons of storage mm -hmm. that overlooks the family room. This is great for bathing babies. Yes. You could down. probably put two in there. Oh my gosh. Wow, this is a retreat right here. Oh. Yes. Oh, the fireplace. Yeah, yes. that was from the inside. Yeah, it's the old stove. Mm -hmm. We That's were able cool. to refurbish it, mm -hmm. bring it out here. It's just such a value mm -hmm. and it's so classic. It looks like a new porch. Yes. It really does.